Hey guys, another euro idea here, going back to euro pound. And nothing really changed in terms of the technicals because we never got the breakouts of the technicals at that moment are holding. And it's always fascinating to see how the higher time frame technicals somehow find a way, maybe eight, nine out of 10 to go together with the fundamentals. Absolutely fascinating. And again, look at it. I mean, we did find the fundamentals reason, fundamental reasons uh, to push up. We were looking for buys right here on this breakout to the upside. Then we got another false break. And then immediately we got news in the opposite direction, which pushed the price now to create another false break, another uh, divergence here, one like divergence that we can see probably on the four hour chart. And pretty much it broke up and creates the same pattern again. So I like it, definitely like it. I'm still going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to look for pullbacks and I'm going to look for buys. Where from and how now? This is the question that could be answered very easily when we draw a bit of levels, just to have an idea where the price might be bouncing from. Actually, this should be. What am I doing, man? I have this weight. Okay, so let's drop the lines so we don't use that all the time. But yeah, pretty much those will be the levels, right? And here we have the big tick one, which is this entire zone. Um, so yeah, now we don't need this and we're starting to get the idea, right? This is the breakout point. So this is the absolute minimum we can expect for the price to go ahead and test the breakout level and continuation up or creating a larger pullback here going to any of these levels on the way down and then pushing upwards. Um, what and how am I going to trade in terms of a specific setup? Well, I need to see, first of all, if it stops here, it's not very, very good because where are we going to protect it? All right, this is your pound and going for 140 pips of protection doesn't make too much sense. Um, unless we get something very specific on the lower time frame, but this is going to be a short term time, short term trade, then one hour, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that, to trade this kind of situation. Because once this is completed, we're probably going for a larger pullback. So if it stops and continues immediately, it becomes a bit shorter term. Okay. Uh, if it goes for the big pullback now and we reach some of these levels here, then we're likely going to attack it on the four hour chart with a four hour. I'm going to attack it. I don't know about you. With this kind of protection. And then I'm going to be looking at the four hour chart cycle, right? The big one, not just the inner cycle right here. This is the one. All right, so I mean, we don't have anything specific at the moment. This is kind of a uh, flat move at the moment. This is why I'm mentioning the, the short term scenario because we might be still going up before making any four hour chart corrective patterns. And if that's the case, as I said, we can be trading this on the lower time frames. Um, just for the intraday structures. All right, in terms of targets then, let's see what do we have. Right here, we have a decent zone, which is slightly above the spike that we had before. So that's one, and then we go up. And of course, we can clearly see that this is an entire zone. Then we have this one at the very top, which is a big swing. So yeah, 
that would be, I guess, everything. We're just starting to form bullish hidden divergence here. Continuing divergence is pushing on the lower time frames. I don't see anything interesting, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, the overall idea, in my opinion here, uh, the big focus should be on a larger pullback, whether it will be this or that, because when we try to go ahead and trade this from that moment, if it doesn't test it, then you're exposed to these spikes right here, and then it becomes really messy. And I don't know, it's simply more aggressive to try to catch this one uh, push here on the lower time frames rather than just trading the big swing buying, protecting, and then things are super clear and we don't need to, um, you know, overthink it. So let's see, waiting for it, and hopefully we'll get something interesting on this one. Thank you.